Okay, good morning everybody. It is 9.30. I'm going to call this meeting to order. Today this is a specially called meeting of the Commissioner's Court of Hood County, Texas. It is Monday, March 28, 2002. It's 9.30 a.m. We're at the Emergency Operations Center located at 401 Deputy Miller Drive, Granbury, Texas. So the first thing that we have on the agenda today is to discuss and take appropriate action to rescind the Commissioner's Court order of September the 14th, 2021, which set salaries of October the 1st of 2021 to remain in effect until September the 30th of 2022. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. All right. Miss Kidd is just handing us the the matrix on the dispatcher's salary after we have increased the beginning salaries for the basic trainees. And uh, that was passed by a vote of three to two. Is that three to three, one and one. Well, one abstention, yes, by Commissioner Eagle. But, um, Anyway, so the first thing that we're going to have to do is to vote out of this because of an emergency situation. Do I hear a motion to vote out of the budget for this one item that we've talked about, which is only the dispatch department? So, okay, got a motion to uh, take appropriate action to rescind the Commissioner's Court order regarding the budget of September the 14th of 2021 regarding only the dispatch department. Do I hear a second? I second it. Okay. We got a motion and a second to step out of the, uh, the budget to discuss uh, the uh, dispatch department for, for two items up here. All those, any further discussion? All those in favor of stepping out of the budget for the purposes of dispatch say aye. 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 All those opposed? Nay. Did you I vote? Said I. Do what? I said aye. Aye. All right. So the motion passes four to one to step out of the budget for purposes of dispatch. So the first item then to discuss is the unanticipated revenue line item transfer <clears throat> and to allow the county auditor to make the necessary budget adjustments. Would you describe what you're going to have to do here, Miss Kidd? Would you just read the, the line item transfer I gave you the original? The, the county is this? That's the oh yeah. 000. Okay, yeah. The county auditor shall certify to the commissioner's court the receipt of revenue from a new source not anticipated before the adoption of the budget, and not included in the budget for that fiscal year. On certification, the court may adopt a special budget for the limited purpose of spending the revenue for general purposes, or for any of its intended purposes. So the revenues not budgeted for in the budget year 2022 is that the Hood County Auditor's Office certifies the receipt of $62,981.33 on a refund from the Granbury Chamber of Commerce regarding economic development. So, and then the expenditures to be added to the budget for year 2022 is $53,000 for salary in dispatch and $6,000 for FICA in dispatch and $3,971.33 for retirement in dispatch. So this is what you're proposing that we do in basis of our vote last Tuesday regarding increasing the basic salary of a new hire 
for dispatch. Is that correct, Ms. Skid? That's correct, Judge. Okay. So, I guess, do I hear a motion to adopt this special budget revenue and allocation as presented by our county auditor, Ms. Becky Kidd? Judge, I'll try to make the motion here, see if we get it right. Uh, I'll make the motion to uh, approve the revenue line item transfer to allow the auditor to make the necessary budget adjustments in the total of $60,371. Okay, do I hear a second? Second. Got a motion and a second to approve the Hood County Auditor's Office request here regarding the money and the dispatch. Any further discussion? Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Nay. Aye. Okay, we've got three yeas and two nays. Okay, so the motion carries by a vote of three to two. Okay, that brings us down to <clears throat> item number four, which is discuss and take appropriate action regarding the salary changes and salary matrix for dispatch employees. And on this is uh, Mr. Hurley here. <clears throat> yes, sir. Okay, I want, I'm assuming that after we made the vote to increase the pay from new hires, on this that you and Melissa Wellburn and Ms. Kidd got together regarding the step plan and matrix, salary matrix for the other employees in dispatch, am I correct? Yes, sir. Okay, would you explain to the court here, and to the public, what you have come up with and why? So what we came up with, um, as, as you voted, um, in the court to set this uh, beginning at 2063, um, we had, uh, due to uh, the, uh, the public safety issues that we have <coughs> regarding being able to keep uh, current employees and uh, being able to hire new ones, uh, we came up with this uh, step plan to uh, try to put our dispatchers inappropriate steps where they deserve to be due to um, longevity, uh, that kind of stuff. So uh, we came up with the two different uh, step plans that you all have before you here. Um, one of these begins at uh, starting new hires at $19 an hour. Uh, the other one starts new hires at 2063. Uh, that's what you just voted on. And this is so that we can retain uh, the people we have, so that we can hire new people and possibly bring over uh, more seasoned veterans and trained people from other agencies. Okay. Well, do you have a concern that if we start out new hires at 2063 and don't adjust for trained personnel and dispatch, that that could have an adverse effect on the dispatch department? Yes, sir. And would you explain to the court why? So if we don't, if we don't adjust the current employees that we have, um, it's if we start, if we keep those employees at a, at a step one and hire in new people, then I have people that are uh, training these new people that are making the exact same money uh, that, the, uh, that the new hires are going to be making. And so we need to adjust them to where they are in the appropriate uh, step range so that they feel like that they're actually valued and an asset to the county, uh, which they are. How long have you been in dispatch? Um, total, I have actually had um, 12 years of experience in dispatch. I originally started here in Hood County in 2000. Okay. It was the first time I started. Okay, and based upon your knowledge and training and experience in dispatch, 
what do you fear would happen to the older uh, employees that were training the new hires and making the exact same amount of money? Uh, those those older employees that have been here, they're going to leave um, because they, they're not going to feel that they're appreciated and not going to feel that uh, their time here is uh, is needed or, or they're not going to feel appreciated altogether. Okay. And right now, with the fires that are going on here and are across the state on the thing, is dispatch still uh, overworked? Yes, sir. And how many employees are you still short at this time? Currently, I am short um, six. Um, I did just hire, I started a new hire this morning, um, getting her started. Now, with this matrix, uh, one of the things that we did do is we took one of the positions uh, to help cover the uh, what we were going to be short on the matrix and so that's going to leave me with five open positions with the new hire that I started this morning. Okay. Okay. Ms. Samuelson, you're up. You said you wanted to speak on item number four. Yes, this really has to do with the agenda from last court. Um, I'm not sure if you were aware but the agenda as written was incorrect. The agenda item it said that um, discuss and take action to provide an hourly rate increase for Hood County 911 operators for the remainder of the 2022-2023 budget, which, as you know, we're not in yet. So I'm not sure if today you guys are planning to redo everything you did last quarter or just the new hires, but I just wanted to point that out that as written, the agenda item was incorrect. So I'm not sure what happened <laughs> at the court was appropriate since the agenda item was as written was incorrect. Would you explain that to Ms. Samuelson and Ms. Kidd? Could you repeat what you said? The agenda item as written um, for last court was incorrect. It talked about the, um, the remainder of the 2022-2023 budget, which we're not in. Um, so I don't know if what the plan was today, if it was to redo everything. You just talked about new hires um, starting at 19, which last court I thought you voted to start new hires at 20.63. So if the plan is to redo everything, I guess it's a moot point. But It's not a plan to do everything. And a lot of times people put 22, 23. I don't know why I didn't write that agenda item. And I don't know why it says that. That's just sometimes they do that. I'm not concerned with that. But it's wrong. Well. well well, it's not, not wrong all. because of the fact that the budget for 2022 starts on October the 1st. No, it, it says, starts up. And it's for the it goes for both years, Ms. Samuelson. Okay. You see? But it says, which, it says operators for the remainder of 2022 2023 budget, it, which we're it, not it, in. Yeah, some, some, sometimes they just write that, but I didn't write it. Um, but well, the I'm, reason we're here is because they set a salary that day for starting pay, but they didn't address the other employees in dispatch. Right. And that's what we're here to do. Yeah, I don't okay. know. As doing the minutes, um, they are incorrect. Um, it was the wrong budget year. So that's what Ms. Samuelson's trying to explain. It was the budget year for future, which is not in effect yet. So it was for the budget year 22 to 23. We have not had those hearings yet. So it's not in effect yet, so that's why the minutes were wrong. And um, I had a hard time with it because I didn't know if what you guys passed is valid or not because what was read into the moat as the motion or what was read in as the agenda item was incorrect. Well, what, what the whole purpose was is that <coughs> nobody likes to go back and try to adjust a budget that was already voted upon on September the 14th. Nobody likes doing that. And the only reason in my mind that this court has the ability to do that, if it is an emergency issue, and this is a public safety issue, we've got people here in this county that the only way that they can get police help, fire help, emergency, 
is through the dispatch. And at the time he talked on this thing, we were six or seven people short, working around the clock. We had just had a fire where these people were having to get people from other departments to fill in on such a critical department as dispatch. I don't think anybody's going okay, so well, Let me finish my judge, statement. Judge, can I speak? Yes. Well, what I think happened here is a clerical error. It's pretty obvious. That was a clerical error. We're in court today. We could correct that right now, correct yeah. the clerical error. And then we can go on. Yeah. That's so what I'll, make a motion, I'll make a motion to uh, amend the last commissioner's court with this agenda due to a clerical error. It should have been a budget year 2021-2022. Okay. That's my motion. Okay. Can you Do I hear a second? Can you repeat that? I'm making a motion to make a correction to last court's agenda item where we talked about correcting the budget of the 22-23 budget year to state from the correct the correct year to be, due to a clerical error, to the 2021-2022 budget year. Thank you. Okay. I'll say. Good. All right, we got a motion and a second to correct the clerical error. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed, motion carries 5-0. <clears throat> okay, now back to the issue at hand is about, we've already voted on the starting salary of a new hire at 2063. That's been decided and voted on. So now what we're discussing is the retention of other dispatch employees of having a step plan that's been devised from the 2063 step one for the new hires. And that's the one that I have, which is step two, Miss Kidd of 21.13 an hour. Is that right? Okay, step three, 2163 an hour. Step four, $22.13 an hour. Step five, $22.63 an hour. Is that what we're talking about? Yes. Okay. I don't see the one, just as a question, I don't see the one that starts out where it's a training at 19 something is what I'm. Hearing. I don't see it. I don't have it either. That's not what we voted on. I understand that, but I thought. I thought what I'm hearing from John Early that they're making a suggestion to that we change what we voted on to go back to trainees at a lesser salary. Is that what I'm hearing from you, John? That was that was what uh, myself and Miss Wellborn and Miss. I don't discussed. care what she said. I want you uh, to tell me what that, do you want. That was what we had discussed. Was so and the reason out. the reason you want to take the trainees to less than 2063. Why? That's our question. <clears throat> it uh, and, and this goes back to exactly what we were just discussing, the fact that some of the people that we have were still at step one. Okay. With us with us adjusting that and moving them up to the step two so that they're not making the same pay as the other But they're going to be making more money. Correct. But you want to separate out the ones that are training not to make that much money. And the reason for that is, was it morale? Well, that's that that was a big part of it. So but, that, and, but I, and the other part of it was. I think so I, that I just. Were, but wait a minute. I just heard you say that you think that those people that are working right now on step one, new hires at fifteen dollars or something, and we take them to twenty sixty three along with the trainees, they'll leave. If I, if I don't buy that. <laughs> if we are, if if they stay at that step to where they're having to train somebody that is making the exact same money, which is the big part, the big problem that we're having, is people making the exact same money because of the steps not being there. Uh, what we have done here is we have adjusted so that the people that are making the 1563 currently that have three years of experience, we have moved them to a step two so that they're not making the same as what the brand new person that I just brought in today. Oh, wait a minute. So you are taking, the, you you're are taking the existing ones now and moving them to step two? That's what this plan right here shows. 
they will start the new hires at 2063, and basically it's a trickle up mm -hmm. rather than a trickle down. It's a trickle up, trickle up. I'm just, trying, I mean, hey, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just trying to understand it. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's trying to be clear of what we're going to vote on. And I, I think what I'm hearing is the people that are there working now are going to be moved up a step. Correct. And the trainees are going to come in in 2063. Not all of them. Not, not, no, not all of them are. Explain. The, the ones, so the ones that are, that have basically less than a year's service uh -huh. are going to stay at the 2063. Okay. I have one that just finished up training. She's staying at the 2063. I have uh, another one. She's been out of training for three or four months. Um, she's staying at that level as well. The ones that we moved up are the ones that have been here for two and three years. So you got two no. people, sounds like, that might be offended by this. Correct. Three. Three? Yeah. Three people that could be offended because they just got hired, went through training at 1563, and we're going to bring them up to 2063, but they're going to be mad because the people that are going to come in tomorrow training at 2063, they're going to leave. Well, those that, well, those that, just, no, those, those that just came out of training are not going to be doing the training. My training people, the ones that I was concerned about that we moved up a step, okay. is the ones that have been here two and three years. And they're years. going to be making more than the person they're training. Correct. Well, then, I'm, I'm sorry, still confused. I'm sorry. Was it four? Yeah, there's... Huh? I just want to get um, uh, Martinez. I'm trying to get orders exactly what what this what okay. this means, right. so we don't do something we don't understand what we're doing. Uh, I thought I heard that we had a real morale issue with the people out there that we moved up to 2063. They've already been working for six months or a year, and we bring in new hires. We're going to pay them 2063, and those people are going to leave because well, how come I should get more than that? What I'm hearing. Well, what's your thought process on why they should not be getting nineteen dollars an hour to training? Like what? Because because it's we six because days, right, John? I don't know. Oh, no, six, six months. months. Six, six months. months. Six so months. So that'd be on the six months. I know you guys already agreed on the twenty six three, but when you're looking at it, like everybody comes in at the same, there's no room for growth. Yeah, there is. No, here's think, the deal. Here's the deal, thing. Leanne. Let me answer the question. We can't hire anybody. How long have you been six or seven people less in dispatch? Mm -hmm. Not at nineteen dollars an hour. Well, we have we have been short uh, ever since last December is whenever we started really losing a lot of people. He and told at the me last meeting, at the last meeting, you said that other departments an and other counties were going to be trying to hire dispatchers. We got to get ahead of the curve, people, or we're never going to be able to hire anybody. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the reason. We, we all have a meeting, and John agrees that six months of $19 an hour is great for them. Because you're giving an incentive to do a great job, complete that training, and then move into the next step. That's not a bad deal. So We're not out there asking for 15 anymore. No wonder we can't get applications. People are going to ask for 19 They're going to be okay with that. You're sure of that? Yes. How many of you interviewed at that, that you would take a job at 19, that they'd be happy with that? You interviewed anybody about that? Or so you don't know. Start your staff I mean, you're assuming that, but you don't know. Reduced rate? No, my staff start, if, when I hire a new staff, she will be start at the rate that I can start her at. Okay, this is a point of order here. We've already <laughs> voted on this. I'm just This has been voted on at the last commissioner's court meeting, where we were voted that we were going to start the new hires at 2063. That was a vote that was taken, that was passed. We're past that, okay? This is an emergency, a public safety issue for all the citizens of Hood County. I think it's <coughs> crucial to the safety of the citizens of Hood County. If you live in a rural district like I do, and you have a fire that can spread so quickly, like Commissioner Wilson and I were sitting up here last Sunday a week ago, <coughs> and watching almost Bluffdale burn up, sitting up here and everybody was on pins and needles and couldn't have dispatch up here. And I saw these people working in that room around the clock, answering the phone calls from not only concerned citizens, from the fire departments and everybody else and law enforcement officers. It was mayhem up here. That really puts the safety of all of Hood County at great risk. 
I'm not willing to take that. It's well, not worth one life. Not it's not worth it. one life. So, I'm ready to make a motion when you are. Please. Can I have, I have a question for Mr. Hardin? So you, you got a new hire in today? Yes, sir. Is it a train or is it a trainee or a trainee? Yes. Okay. Can I ask you who that is? Uh, her name is uh, Aries Del Bosque. Okay. And she's, but she, you told her 2063. No, sir. Originally, whenever she started the interview process about a month and a half ago, it was still in 1563. So she's come. She came to work with at 1563. Yes. Well, well she's going to be, we passed she's, the motion here. Correct. She'll be starting in 2063. Correct. I have not. I have not told her as of yet what <coughs> this is. Oh, that was a until, month and a half ago. Until after we had this meeting today. Okay. My concern is that we're messing with the matrix in the middle of the year, and that's <coughs> that. That very much concerns me. If we're just going to do a flat across the board. Uh, take care of something now and, and fix this problem in October. That's that's one thing. It I've had several objections to this thing, and given dispatch, more money is absolutely not one of those objections. I put this on the agenda. I realized that there was a huge problem that we needed to address here. What I'm concerned about is we've just kind of thrown all the rules out of the out of the door on this thing. I wanted to, first off, stay inside those budgetary constraints. That's where, you know, my, my objection was to that in the beginning. I lost on that one. I'm, I'm willing to accept that. Now I'm concerned that, you know, we're moving steps here and there in the middle of the year, and I just, I, I don't like the procedure of that. I don't like doing that in the middle of the year. I don't either. Yeah. Don't either. Never have voted for it a yes. This is an emergency issue based upon public safety for all the citizens of Hood County, period. That's why we're doing it. And we're affected no other department. And as far as I'm concerned, on the last three years that I've been on the court, we've never did that before. This is critical to the health and safety and public safety of all the citizens of Hood County. And I, for one, think that this is an emergency that we need to correct so that Mr. Hurley can put not just a Band-Aid across something, but get us a decent dispatch that the citizens of Hood County can make a call in here and we can get the sheriff or the fire department or the EMTs out to service these people. If we don't have a dispatch, they can't get to the services. And this is not, I disagree with your statement that we're going outside budget constraints. In an emergency situation on public safety, we are allowed to address it. In fact, I think it's our fiduciary duty that we owe to the citizens of Hood County to not to do this right now, and that we would be negligent to not take it up. So you have your opinion about it. I have my opinion. There is a procedure for it. That's what we're in, and only because it's an emergency and affects public safety. That's it. I've not, have never voted for any other going outside the budget. It probably would, unless it affects public safety. So are we under a declared emergency right now? It's an emergency in the dispatch department based upon what the sheriff and John Hurley have testified to or said at the last commissioner's court meeting. And what, personally, I observed last Sunday, a week ago this past Sunday, in the dispatch department, don't see how they could keep up and that it would be so easy for a call to get lost in the mayhem that's going on there when you're working with six less people. Yes, it is an emergency for that one department. You bet it is, in my opinion. Uh, thank you for your, in your opinion. Thank you. Okay. Do I hear a motion? Yes, let me try. I'm going to make a motion to uh, not change the salary matrix as voted to, as voted by this court in the last commissioner's court, which was starting salary for new hires for the dispatch at $20.63. That's my motion. Right. Second, second. Okay. So your motion is to not not to, to take back what we did in court the other day? No, to support what we did in court. 
to uphold okay. and not change what we did in court. So new trainees, 26 so, so you Gotcha. Right. Okay, gentlemen, you set the salary for new trainees. Now you need to, to decide on the matrix that John Hurley has given you because that has everyone's salary on it, the one he, he passed out. Because if you don't, then you're only setting one category of salaries. So you no, we're going to vote. We're going to vote on the other one. That's the one that I read, where the step two is twenty-one thirteen. That's what I have. Well, it, no. has, it also has the individuals' names and their salaries. So if you can just vote on the proposed salary by John Hurd, that this matrix. this yes. one right here says twenty sixty-three starting step one. I get that, but again, the steps on the individuals that are already employed have changed. Okay, those have changed. They yeah, but this is step one to step two. Judge, let me finish. Okay. Okay. This is important so that Leanne can pay them. I agree. It, you have to approve everybody's salary on here for her to proceed. Oh, the one that says John Hurley. Yeah, that says proposed by John Hurley, and Hood County and Law Enforcement dates. Dispatch. And an effective date. So this one here, right? This one it says uh, law enforcement uh, dispatch by John, proposed by John Hurley. Yes, That's sir. the second sheet behind the matrix. You got the matrix here, and then you've got the salary adjustments. And this also <coughs> has to be changed if we're going to change the matrix. Yes, you know what you're saying? Yes, sir. If you want, you, you've only okay. set one category salary, starting uh, pay. All, right. all these other people have different steps and different titles. Their steps have also changed. They have been given an increase also. So yeah, in order to to do okay, yeah, I just want to make sure, just make sure, because what I talked about was that $60,371 is what we're going to use. Does that cover all of these things on John Church? Yes. All right, so that's what I want to know. Do we have enough money yeah. from the unanticipated revenue to do what you're saying? We, this, the, the proposal by Mr. Hurley puts us over $60,371. That doesn't include if someone quits, vacation payouts, things of that nature. The one that the train, the one with the training salary, that put us fifty thousand in the hole. Forty-seven thousand three seventeen. Well, with some minor adjustments because some some people that. The question is, do we set. have enough money in the anticipated revenue to do just what you said? I can't. Oh, John, I, you can't say that. I wouldn't answer that for all the tea in China because I don't know. Well, so you, don't, this so you don't know. You this want me to vote on something that we don't know what the cost is going to be. I. Can't. It's happened before. <laughs> so we're kind of coming unprepared. What's, what's I got to. Got, you got to know what you're voting on if we're going to. We're going to approve a salary matrix change, which is what we're trying to do to take your dispatchers. And now I'm hearing in this meeting that we don't have the numbers. No. Well, and here's the deal. Y'all voted on the. Y'all voted on the minimum deal of 2063. Right now, she's rippled it all the way up the line. Today, as of today. Well, what if we don't vote on that? <laughs> we'll yeah, say no. That's up to We're you. Okay. These are not my changes. These are not my changes. I didn't ripple anything out. They're not my changes. My, my, after talking with Mr. Hurley, my matrix changed and it went down. The one with the training salary. Yeah, at nineteen dollars or something. All we want to do is is change the matrix to. Bring dispatchers in at 2063, so he can be competitive with all the counties. That's what the court's trying to do. I understand that, but okay. I cannot answer the question. I don't know who's going to leave payouts or anything no. like that. You will probably be okay. You know, even if, even if we don't do anything, you don't know that. It again, could change. I, I can't predict the future. No, I'm not either asking you to. Either way, I'll probably be wrong. <laughs> I'm going to make a motion. To I'm sorry, Emma. Right <laughs> sorry, Emma. Okay, we got. You've got. Have you? You've already got a motion on the. If there is a motion on the table. That's to, right. You to go. not turn over what we did, as far as the salary matrix in the last court. And a second. But do we need a? Do we need a motion to not undo something? I mean, it's already done. I don't think. Well, we we've been. Everybody's been talking about trying to get it done. We, done. Done. we, we, we can table. So. We can. I, we can table this. Yeah, I don't see. Until so forever. So we've already done it. Right? Yeah, I mean, the motion you make, yeah, it's already a done deal. I don't, I mean, it's. I'm just doing that for clarity so we understand what yeah. we're doing here. Okay. So, what you're saying is just new hires will come in at $20.63, but everyone else is going to stay at $15.63? No, no, it can't do that. No. no. It's already tested. Step, step, step one is changing from $15.93 to $20.63. Step one in the matrix. That's what we're doing. 
Because the old matrix started out of 1563 or something, right? And I think that's exactly what I'm assuming John has proposed here. But what I'm hearing is you want to table proving this. No, so that's not a motion. That's not a motion. We're not. We've got to do my motion first. We've got to do his motion first. My motion was that we voted in the last court to change the matrix starting salary. Yes, we did. I didn't hear change the matrix in the last court commission. I heard change of salary. It's for the starting. Everyone's salary at $60.63. Right. $20.63. Starting salary. Nothing on matrix. Right. Okay, just Nothing the starting. On starting no. salary. That's what. Okay, and that's what. That's what we voted on. That's what we heard. Yes. Okay. Now, we well, can we still to, vote. Your resolution needs to basically say, you know, amended that says this, we, you know, we're voting for this matrix right here. That's a trickle up for yeah. the salary for the, all of the dispatch, which is the 60,000. Yeah. Yeah. To start the new hires at the 2063, I agree with Mr. Andrews, we've already voted on that. I know you were trying to do it for clarity, but we've already said that we're not undoing the 2063. That's already been voted okay. on for the new hires. But and you can't then, hire new hires. I will withdraw my motion. Okay. And I'll make <laughs> so, a motion later. Okay. Okay. All right. You get that, Katie? Yeah. Commissioner, Commissioner Eagle here has made a motion to table this for the rest of the uh, hiring of the situation. Is that what you're talking about? I'm just, ta I'm just making a motion to table this until somebody what can is explain this? this. What is this? This matrix that's in here. Okay, the matrix, not the 2063 for the new hire. No, y'all already did that. So y'all already did this. Okay, okay. that's what he did. But you've already heard uh, John Hurley testified that if you did that and start new hires at 2063, and then do not increase the salaries for the second, third year type of people that he's really, and his, it's based upon his experience working with dispatcher, that some of those people would leave. So we're going to still, we got, you're saying, let's don't worry about that, but we got Commissioner Wilson here saying, we got to address the rest of the matrix. Judge, we got a motion to table. Let's go ahead. And yeah, okay. Do that. So, do I hear a second to the motion to table this? All right, motion fails for lack of a second. Do I hear a new motion concerning the matrix for the rest of the employees? Mr. Wilson, matrix? would you like to try it? A motion? Okay. I move that we go forward with you know, adopting the matrix that starts new hires at 2063 and addresses the what I'm calling trickle up effect of that to the current employees, which would be adopting the matrix that was presented by John Hurley of the dispatch. Second. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion, and let's get, I want to make sure that this is the right one of yours. This is the one that I'm going to mark it as an exhibit. Is this the one that the matrix that goes up? Miss Kidd, I wish you would not, you're not leaving, are you? I didn't know you were coming. I'm just giving the matrix to Leanne. Good. So she will have to look at Does this second page have to be with it? Yes, sir. Okay. Because this is, that's the one that shows all of the uh, yep. step ups. We need an effective date. All of the, all is your effective date March 28th? Is it effective today, Monday, March 28th? Can you can you do that? Can you? When's the first time can you do it? Okay. Today, the 28th, you can start it. You, do that. you want to amend your motion? Write your name on this. So put John Hurley one on both pages. You had to know our county attorney was back here. How come he hadn't spoke up? No. Got, to, got to be something illegal about what we're doing. <laughs> come on. I called Becky before this morning. I said, do I need to be here for this? And she said, no, we're good. So I said, okay. Well, I was okay. Here for the second show. <laughs> okay. So, so we're all in the right situation here. It's the John Hurley. He's got his name on it. It's the one. It's no date on it. That's what threw me when you were talking about the, about the date. But it's well, the one. It's a two-page. 
Commissioner Wilson is going to not amend, he's going to add to I'm the motion. I'm going to just add to my motion that we use the metrics that was provided today by John Hurley. And the raise will be effective March 28, 2022. Okay. I'll second that. Okay. We've got a, a motion made by Commissioner Wilson to accept the two-page proposal by John Hurley uh, that he has signed, so there will be no mistake, and we'll hand that to you, Miss Lane, so you'll know which ones we're talking about, this two-page matrix here, second by Commissioner Cotton. Any further discussion? I just want to make it, I just want to point out that we've made a complete change in the salary system here off year in the middle we haven't posted it we haven't put it out there for the public for review which I believe is important to do in fact it may be required and I just and I this is the first time I've seen this so this wasn't provided with the packet this matrix so I'm just make pointing that out for the record and I want to point out for the record that this is an emergency situation for public safety. And that's why we're doing it. And there is a procedure that we are following, in my mind, that allows us to do that when we're talking about public safety. So we got the motion and the second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? Nay. Okay. Motion carries by three to two. Let me hand this, and for the record, I am handing the two-page matrix system to the county clerk that's signed by John Hurley, and he's got John Hurley 1 on both pages. Before we move on to the next agenda item, I think maybe we need to discuss are we leaving comp with that big of a raise? Are we leaving everyone with the comp that they have on the books, or are we paying it out? I didn't hear what you said. Comp time. Comp time. With that being that big of a raise, are we going to pay everyone's comp out time at the time? At what, are we leaving their comp time as is? What are we doing, John? I, that, I had not addressed comp time in and, that. And that is why um, I said there is no way to predict what this will cost. And it's no way to predict how many dispatchers he's going to be able to hire. Would you agree with that, Ms. Kidd? I agree with that. But That's right. So we don't know what it's going is. to cost. Judge, you think we need a motion then to deal with comp time? We can do that. We're in the you, same if subject. If you pay them out now, you pay at the rate that they just Yeah, they, 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 that they accumulated they it. they move on, yeah. any payout will be yeah. at their new rate, which yeah. is a higher rate. Makes sense. So that we need to decide that. Sure. I don't know if it has to be an agenda item, but it, it better be pretty quick. Bad. It better be. Because again, it has to be clear. Well, you if they quit today, you can't anticipate that. If everybody so quits, you're going to pay out comp time. I understand that. The old rate. We want to pay them at the current rate. But you rate. should pay them at the old rate. That was accumulated at the old rate. They start accumulating, they accumulated at the new rate. It makes sense. I don't think you think yeah. you, you need well, that instruction. Someone tell me where to get that money from. Yeah. Someone give me direction on where to get that money from. From the un unanticipated revenue. As we're going to work that. <clears throat> I disagree with that. You get it from that ARP money. That's where you get everything else. Yeah. I don't get anything from the ARP money. Well, here's the deal. We've already we've already said that the unanticipated revenue from the chamber would go to the dispatch department. And I have. You, you got to pay all that comp time today. Where would you get it? Everybody quit. Yeah. Where would you get all that comp time money? Well, that's, that's not a likely scenario. Well, okay. It's not you know, a likely I'm, scenario you're going to have to do I'm anything. trying to make sure that the whole county is okay. Sure. I'm not on anybody's side. That's not well, a I'm just asking just the question. Make a decision. I just see this is going to be costly. I'm not signing that. No. I'm not saying it will. Time you raise salaries, okay. it's going to cost you the county. You vote against it? I did. Okay. Excuse me. This is using the revenue money, the unanticipated revenue money for the dispatch department. That's right, you voted for it, didn't you? Mr. Uh, Andrews. No, no, I voted against it. For the for, 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 for
unanticipated revenue into the yeah, that's what that that's what that is. Yeah, but it's March twenty eighth today. I thought you voted for it. I thought I, know. Know. I, know. I did vote to open this discussion up or whatever. Well, you're talking about, about the last court. You voted in the last court to approve something to no, well, I'm no, just not asking you to not yeah. to be. Oh, okay. Yeah, my 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 point is I didn't want to move anything around. Okay. okay. And that to uh, you back to Katie? Yes. Back no, back to uh, Becky. Back to Kia, that's who Kitty wanted a copy of it too. Yes, sir. Okay. So the question Leanne, is not want, where where does this money come from tomorrow to pay for this, but at which rate? If we pay out their pump time effective as of yesterday, they get their <coughs> for yesterday. The position step grade has changed. Right. So now we can move forward whatever earnings that they make would be at the new rate. But Melissa and I are just talking. We need to make sure is this something we can actually do today since it's not on the agenda. Uh, maybe Matt might know the answer to that. It's not on the agenda. Well, is it involved enough it's in involved this? It's involved with the agenda. Issue? Issue. <laughs> All right. Put it on the next agenda. If it doesn't fit yeah. under four, because under four we're discussing the appropriate action regarding the salary changes. And when we discuss the salary changes, it affects comp time, doesn't it? I mean, technically, it could be a person who's in the green for. I'm not going to have a fit if you try to go forward. I mean, it, it's a kind of gray area. Because treasure needs to know something. Yeah, I mean, okay. either do it now or do it in the next quarter. Well, we can do it now. You said you didn't have any objection to it. You didn't see anything wrong with it. So. But okay. I'd like to know what John, okay. what you would recommend in this. I mean, at, at this point in time, I mean, I'm not sure. That's you have some high hours. That, 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 I do. I have a lot of people with a it's lot of hours. It is. It uh, is. And that's because they've been working overtime. And I, I, Judge, I'm, so what, I'm what are we going to do about all of that? The that's the basis for so this meeting. Pay them a little rate or keep the new, right. just keep them moving forward and then use it. Whichever one is fine, we just need to make, make that decision. So right. let, let me ask you this, because I think this should is... should be compensated at the rate that it was earned. Right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So we're not about to write checks for this tomorrow, are we? Or is this going to continue and Friday, carry over? Friday, they will be paying out this pump yeah. at their old rate. It's payroll. Wow. So if we don't do anything, you still have to do that, though, don't you? If you've got comp time, you got to pay, you got to pay it. I don't understand. Only if they're separate. Or if they take comp time, they use comp time, mm -hmm. but we don't pay them. Unless Until they leave. Right. Or position change. Okay, yeah. so we got somebody leaving? Do you want to pay it at the old rate, at a lesser yes. rate, or do you want to pay it at a we higher want to pay rate? We want to pay it at the older rate. That's, that's what Commissioner question. Wilson just told you. That's what he wants to okay. do. Okay, that's, why are we arguing about this? I, I don't, don't know. Understand. We argued because you brought it up. I'm, so we got a motion that we're going to pay the, the comp rate made. at which it was earned. What is the decision? Just make a decision. You want to, you want it no, in the I'll form of a motion. motion? I'm going to make a motion to pay comp time at the old rate for all dispatch employees, and they'll pay the... That Come was time at the new rate. Prior to today's date. Today's date, 28th. Right. Yeah. So you want them to be paid out the new rate? No. Oh, old rate. Old rate. Okay. And I will second that. Okay. We got a motion made by Commissioner Cotton to pay comp time, comp time at the rate in which it was earned. That is the old rate prior to March 28, 2022. <clears throat> Second by Commissioner Wilson. Any further discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Nay. Motion. Aye. Okay. Motion carries 4-1. Okay. Last item on today's agenda is reinstate the Commissioner's Court's order 
as of September the 14th, 2021, which sets salaries as of October the 1st, 2021, to remain in effect until September the 30th of 2022. I'll make that motion. <laughs> I'd love to get that back in. Motion, motion to I'll second debate. that. Okay, motion has been made by Commissioner Eagle, second by Commissioner Cotton, joined in by Judge Massengill, that we're going to keep the salaries the same as for everybody else except for dispatch, and we're going back into the order that's to remain into effect until September the 30th of 2022. That, all was, that wasn't the motion I made. I made the motion as, as it's stated. I didn't put all that other in there. All right, let's just go ahead and say it's the motion as stated. Thank you. Is that fine? Yes, sir. Okay, Thank and second by Commissioner Cotton. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Good. Motion carries 5-0.